is Mixtape Mandy, and when I'm not working my boring office job as a concert promoter, I'm working towards my dream job of one day being able to professionally build playlists for business and personal use. Now, people ask me all the time, what makes a good playlist? Well, we're going to talk about five of those things right now, the first of which being the theme. The theme answers the question, what's the purpose? Uh, there's many purpose, purposes behind a mixtape, the first of which is event-based. It's essentially answering the question, where are we going to listen to this mix? Is it at a party? Is it at a wedding? Is it on a road trip? The second of which is time-based, which answers the question, when are we going to listen to this mix? Is it when you're waking up and you need to get energized for your day? Is it when you're going to sleep and you really need to relax? Is it when you're washing the dishes and you need some banging jams to get you through your chores? Once you figure out your purpose, you're able to move on to your second po point, which is lyrical content, which answers the question, what's the message? A lot of people make mixes because they don't have the words to express how they feel, much like how I feel right now. Um, if you've read the book or if you've seen the film Perks of Being a Wallflower, the character Charlie struggles with social anxiety and he's not able to tell his family or his friends how he feels. So he makes a mixtape for them and hopes that that works. I recently met a man who I fancied and we both loved the Beatles, but our relationship was going off to a slow start, so I made him a mix. He called me and said, I think it's about time we define the relationship, to which I said, I think I already did. <laughs> the third point is your song order. There's only one thing in our society that works out of order, and that's Star Wars. And trust me when I say, your mix is not Star Wars. <laughs> Put all of your songs in one big pile, and then from there, you can decide on your attention-grabbing first song. Think of it as like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It grabs your attention, but doesn't tell you what's going on in the episode, so you want to keep tuning in. Think of it as, well, now, this is a story all about how my mix got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just hang on tight, I'll tell you how to make your playlist exactly just right. <laughs> now, moving on to the other side of the bookend, once you find your attention-grabbing first song, you can move on to your conclusive last song. This ties up your message all in one big bow and rewards your listeners for listening to 15 to 20 songs of the same message saying, this is what it's all about. In between there, you can mix it up with interesting introductions and elaborate fade outs. And the fourth point, which is genre. Do not be afraid to mix it up. That's why it's called a mix. Now, within hundreds of genres, there are then thousands of subgenres. And if you look behind me, you'll see plenty of them. You could go from synth pop to shoegaze to avant jazz. Trust me, there's more than just rock and jazz. Do not be afraid to mix it up. Now, that brings us to our fifth point, which is execution. You can either put it on a Spotify playlist and send it off on its way, or you can actually physically make a mixtape or a burnt disc with album art and everything. People still do that, and even more people still love it. Think of how different this scene would be if Lloyd Dobler Instead of going outside of her house with a boombox playing Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes, he just sent her a Spotify playlist with that song on loop 20 times saying, let me know when you're done finishing. <laughs> now, why are mixes so important? Why do we make them? And why do we get excited listening to them? Well, let me put it to you this way. One of my favorite books of all time is called Love is a Mixtape. Go figure. Um, it's written by a man who is a music journalist for Spin Magazine and Rolling Stone Magazine, and his name is Rob Sheffield. Now, Rob was married to this woman, Renee, for about five years, and then unexpectedly, out of nowhere, she passed away from a pulmonary embolism. And in order to kind of relive their marriage or to go through the death of his wife so suddenly, he decided to relive her life through these mixtapes and listen to the tapes she made when they got married and when they first started dating and when they went on road trips together. And it basically all boils, boils down to this. Every mixtape has a story. If you put them all together, they tell the story of your life. And that, my friends, is why making mixtapes is important. Thank you.